So I like constant challenge. And I think that's typical of athletes is mm -hmm. to never get complacent and to never stop learning. But interestingly enough, some athletes have a hard time being, you know, not an expert again, you know, and having to start all over and be the students, not the teacher. <laughs> so for me, it's taught me how to be open to being a student and to be receptive to constructive criticism if that's, you know, contextually relevant, you know, as you're progressing. And then also being okay with the process, you know, learning to shoot three point shots at six foot five didn't happen overnight. You know, <laughs> learning to shoot my left handed hook shot did not happen overnight. And so the same applies to anything you do in life. If you put in the time, the effort, the focus, the diligence, the consistency, you're going to end up with great results, but nothing is like a light switch, you know? Yeah. Um, now, again, some athletes are so gifted physically that things come faster. And so that translation of, okay, what do I need to do to optimize my full potential within this pursuit? And mm -hmm. it's okay. Perfect. You know, it's okay to realize that, you know, I tried that, maybe it was sports broadcasting or whatever aspect you tried, and then you segued into coaching because you realized you missed being around players and influencing the outcome of the game and commentating made you frustrated because you actually couldn't change the, you know, the outcome of the game. You know, I've heard these stories. Yeah. So people discover their passions along the way. And I think as an athlete, you learn that you're going to have shifts, you're going to have changes. Let's say you lose a very tough game you're playing in two days. So you need to turn quickly. That's something else I've learned and, and apply on a daily basis is that you're gonna have amazing amount of positives in the day, you're gonna have some challenges. How do you take those challenges and turn them into a positive overnight? And that's so important, like the idea of resilience.